Okay. Home screen. Here it is. I, I picked all the pictures myself. I'm even ra rating Legion, guys. Legion is in there. And, of course, it's starting out strong. Baldur's Gate 3. We don't even need to talk about it. It's S tier. The best game since Skyrim. What else? What else? Like, what else can we say about it? It's the best RPG I've played in forever. In forever, ever, and ever, and ever. Alright, next we have Conception 2. This is a weird game. You guys haven't seen me play it. It's a game I bought on the holiday sale because I played it as a child on the 3DS. It's rated M. I shouldn't have been allowed to play it. It's plot... It's plot is you are a man that uses your star energy to give birth to star children with a bunch of hot women at this school and then the children you use in like turn-based battles <laughs> you use the children as your like your battle fodder <laughs> and that's why i haven't played it on stream yet but I played this as a kid. I played this as a kid. And I wanted to play it for nostalgia. And I, like, I've been playing it by myself. And it's, like, very inappropriate. Listen, when they combine their star energy, they only hold hands, guys. It's okay. It's okay. They only hold hands. They're only holding hands. <laughs> That's why you turned out this way. <laughs> um, I'm putting it in the C tier. I'm putting it in the C tier. It's not a good game at all. I just think it's funny at this point. I also bought the newest version of it because it was also on sale, which I have never played before. And I do plan on playing that on stream. I haven't played it yet. But this one I was playing for myself. But the next one I was like, yeah, I gotta share it. It's it's too funny. It's too funny. It's embarrassing and terrible. It's such a bad game. Anyway, next game. Pokemon, um, Pikachu, Detective Pikachu. I'm missing no no no. That didn't come out this year. Okay. Whew. Detective Pikachu. D tier. This game's fucking ass. I'm sorry. It's like for baby children. I, no, no hit, no hit a talent. Sorry, my only talent is existing. Anyway, um, Detective Pikachu is really disappointing to me. It's like a baby game for little babies, like that barely know how to speak the English language and were just born. <laughs> Are you not baby children? <laughs> um, yes, no. Okay, yes, and baby children technically, but it's just really, really dumbed down. It's not a fun game, and I'm really sad about it. Five Nights at Freddy's. Guys, I played Five Nights at Freddy's for the first time. No, it's not S tier, shut up! <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's for the first time. Embarrassingly, I'm giving you today. It was actually really fun and really stressful and difficult. And I always just thought, I see, I thought this game in my mind, this was my Detective Pikachu. I was like, oh, this game's for little baby kids. This game, not for adults. Lies. Five Nights at Freddy's is fucking hard. This is scarier than playing like a comp game and trying to clutch around. That was so scary. 
We didn't even run. That's my first time, like, not running out of energy at the end of the night. It was really difficult to beat, like, to get all the way to night seven. I was struggling. But I really liked it. Hi, Mumsy! Um, okay. The next thing is Fire Emblem Engage. Guys, I don't know what to do about this one. I didn't like Fire Emblem Engage. I didn't like the story. He's literally said, don't respond, he's deaf. I'm sorry. Maybe Detective Pikachu is a game for me. Fire Emblem Engage. Gameplay was really good. The story was so terrible and the characters were so terrible. I guess I put it in B. Okay, maybe Conception should be D tier. Fire Emblem Engage is like the worst Fire Emblem game to get into if you're new to Fire Emblem because it, it's for nostalgia and it's for the anniversary anniversary and I really felt like they did not try that hard making the game. Um, and it's, I feel like it's really confusing with, they put in so many of the past Fire Emblem characters, if you don't know who they are, I feel like they can make the game a lot more difficult than it actually is. Um, but I gave a B tier, I didn't finish it because I was not, like, vibing with the characters or the story. But the combat was probably some of the best in the maps, or some of the best Fire Emblem, like, gameplay we've had in a while. Anyway, the next game is Inkbound. Mumsy was a tester for Inkbound. A lot of people in my community were talking about Inkbound way before it came out um, and made me play it. Meet with the fr okay, I'll see you later, Juiced. If not, have a great day. You better come back! <laughs> Three Houses Battle- oh yes, I love so much of the Fire Emblem music. Man, I love Fire Emblem. Don't even get me started. Okay, anyway. Inkbound. This is a, um, I'm, I'm gonna assume a lot of people don't know what it is. Have fun with your friend, Juiced. Um, uh, but it's- it's a, like, strategy roguelike. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. No, it's okay. I love talking to everyone. It's okay. It's a strategy roguelike based on movement, and it's turn-based as well. It was it was very fun. It's it's very interesting. I suggest looking it up. It's it's so hard to explain. I didn't understand it watching people playing it. I didn't understand the game at all until I played it. And then it clicked. Um but it, it's pretty good. I'm going to I'm going to put it in A tier. It, I really enjoyed it. I didn't play tons of it, but I think it's a very well thought out good game. Okay, next is Lethal Company S tier. <laughs> Maybe top of A. Lethal Company is very fun. It's very fun to play with friends. It's not finished, which is why I hesitate putting it in S tier. But I think for the time that I've spent in it so far, it's really worth the money if you have friends to play with. Just close your eyes and follow the sound. I got you. Oh, <laughs> oh Why is the bridge acting this way? Is this safe? No, 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 Yo, let's fuck his oh, ass yeah. up. Let's yeah. get our boy back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get our fucking boy! Where you at, bitch? Uh. Stun, 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 oh. stun, 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 st
Oh my god, what just happened? <laughs> 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 okay, Legion! This season of Legion. This season of Legion. This is the highest I've ever climbed. It's my second year playing Legion. I made a lot of friends. Trash. I made a lot of friends. I'm th I think I'm going... I think I'm going... I don't know, I was thinking B. I feel like in the beginning of the season, I was having the time of my life playing. But I think after that, after that, it really, it really fell downhill. After, after the first couple months. I feel like after the six months in the season, it was like, I was not vibing anymore. I don't, I don't even know what they were changing about it, but the B or C tier is fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with B. I still think Legion is like a very good game, very interesting game. I'll probably put it above Fire Emblem Engage. All right, League of Legends, whatever season this is, uh, um, we'll put it in C tier. I didn't like this season of League. I have had very little fun this season of League until the very end of the season. It's the opposite of Legion. The entire season until the very end, I've been like, no, fuck this game. This game sucks. Now that it's the end of the season, I'm having fun again. Um, yeah, I'm giving it a C. My time in Sand Rock, I'm giving it an S. Legion, because Doof didn't fall in love with you. Hey. I can, I can snag Doof. You don't want me to leak our DMs. You don't want me. You don't want to see it. You don't want me to see it. You don't want you. I don't want you. We don't want to. Us? Nobody. Nobody wants to see the DMs. <laughs> no, I like- I still like Legion, don't worry. I plan on coming back and playing, um... Guys, I cannot leak- I can't leak them. I genuinely can't leak them. They're, it's- well, it's embarrassing, and you guys will clip it and send it to Doof immediately. <laughs> <laughs> we can't talk about it. It's not for stray, but <laughs> but okay. My time in Sandrock. This is this game surprised the fuck out of me. Basically, I got it because I was very disappointed in the Coral Island reviews, and I really wanted to play Coral Island. And I really wanted to get into a cozy game, and um. I decided to go with my time at my time at San Rock because people seem to be really liking it, and it did it did not fail me. It's so good. It has so much story. It's going to be one of the first like cozy games with a yearly system that I go past the first year, and there's still things for me to do past the first year, which is crazy. Zell, shut your mouth. <laughs> I've been playing it mostly offline. I forgot who had the quotes you had on stream. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, did everyone say happy birthday to Doof, by the way, when his birthday stream? Because if you didn't, go, like, go say happy birthday. Go, go on his Instagram. Go on his, uh, his YouTube account. And everyone remember it was his birthday, and it's okay if you're a day late, okay? Anyway. Back in it. Lords of the Fallen. I think Michael put it C tier. I'm gonna give it B. I had fun, but it was also not good. <laughs> Lords of the Fallen was very much like, I enjoyed some of it, but most of the time I was very mad and not enjoying anything about it at all. Which you would think is a C tier, but it's the friends we make along the way. With a quick kick. There's gonna be a guy in there. I got shoved off. Yippee. Then what happened? 
And then she lost it. When she died. And died. <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. I just wanna get through. I'm just gonna let myself die. I don't care. I want through the doorway. Okay. I found a thing up here for you. Oh, I died. Bro, oh. you. <laughs> I'm just rolling around. Ah! Me. I thought you knocked me off. Ah! <laughs> All right, I had a lot of time, like fun playing with Mike and with my friend Will. I enjoy the weapons. I enjoy the move set. I enjoy the outfits, the armor. It's very much a fashion souls game to me. Yes. What? What do you mean we are we friends? Yes. Every we're all friends. <laughs> Why did that offend me so much? Don't forget me when you get famous. I won't. We have this conversation all the time with the people stopping by. I won't, I promise. I pinky promise. I'm still probably going to talk to everyone. I would hope, at least. Um, but Lords of the Fallen was fundamentally a game that didn't function because of its own design choices. But it had very good ideas. It had very good ideas that made you be like, you'd sit there and be like, wow, that was cool. I wish it worked. <laughs> <laughs> little gator game i'll give a tier short quick cheap fun game like like with a cute story that's basically a, a nice cute fun little thing to play for a couple hours and move on but it was very good party animals i give uh okay hold up i have to rethink things we're gonna have to move lords of the fallen down i'm not gonna lie because party animals doesn't deserve we'll put a party animals at the top of b okay i don't like games like this i hate games like party animals i hate games like mario party i yeah it is biased this is my tier list Fuck you. Well, I I can't I understand that fundamentally party animals is a good fun game and I understand why people like it. I feel like for a lot of people they would have it in A tier or S tier and they're very excited for this game, but this is not a game I enjoy. Um I just don't like these types of games. And this reaffirmed it. You know, party animals reaffirmed that for me. And that's okay. I totally understand that other people really like it. Next is played up. I'm giving played up. I'll give played up an end. I have a lot of fun playing played up. It's like Lethal Company, but I think Lethal Company is sillier. Which puts it in S tier because it's just so entertaining. Played Up is a, what is it, like a roguelike cooking game. <laughs> it's really fun to play with friends and it's not very difficult and it's cheap. Cheap, fun, good with friends. Bam, easy, done. Remnant to S tier. For a $40 game, for a $40 game, Remnant was one of my favorite games this year. My criticisms were mostly that it's a $40 game. I was like, it makes no sense that something of this quality is $40 when I played, I had to pay $60 for this shit game. And the, the problems with Remnant 2 is that there's not enough content, which is why it's $40. But it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It's such a good game. My only complaint was like, why is it over? Why am I done? What's up with that? 
I need more. That was the only problems I had with this game. It's amazing. It's one of the best games I played this year. Loved it. 10 out of 10. Remnant, the DLC. I'm gonna need the bottom of it here. Remnant, this DLC that just came out, disappointed me. It wasn't an entire new area. And I understand that they probably can't do that because they're a small, a small, a much smaller team than other games. But like, oh my gosh, well, how did they produce a game that was so high quality compared to all of these other like shit half ass sixty dollar games coming out? It doesn't make sense. It's blowing my mind. So really, it probably is in S tier the DLC and is perfectly fine but my expectations with this game were just like they were blown all out of the water and now they're way too high um they're way too high the next game uh kind of reminds me of Remnant it's Returnal it came out be like way before this year but I think it came out on PC this year um, I'm putting it in the middle of A tier. It was fun. It was good. It's like Remnant where it's like randomly, it, it's very similar to Remnant actually. It's like randomly generated spaces uh, and you go through and fight all the bosses and, and, and roguelike kind of fashion. It's pretty fun, the combat. I can't, I can't decide what made me love Remnant 2 so much more, because I feel like these two games are very similar. I think a part of what made Remnant so fun was that you could play with three people, and Returnal is two people, and it felt weird that you could even have access to multiplayer. It didn't really make sense with the theme of the game. But it also kind of, they made it fit in, and I don't know. I think Returnal just, I didn't love the random weapons. It's it's much more of a roguelike than Remnant is. Like, Remnant is the randomly generated places, but Returnal is randomly generated augments, randomly generated weapon, randomly generated environment. And I guess I didn't really like having the randomly generated weapon and augments because a part of action games for me is finding the one weapon I like, using it the entire game, thinking it's very cool and having lots of fun with it. But otherwise, this is probably an S tier game for a lot of people, just not me. Moonstone Island. I honestly thought it was going to be a lot harsher. I honestly thought my reviews was going to be a lot harsher. Is it B tier? I might put it at the front of B. And then I might actually put this here. And this like... Here. Okay, Moonstone Island was very good. It's... It's a game where you collect little creature spirits, kind of like Pokemon, and instead of Pokemon's combat, it's card-based combat, and the exploration is sort of Legend of Zelda, Zelda Temple-y combat, and, or not combat, exploration, it's card-based combat. And then there's also, like, a town... Not building, but like a town. There's a town. There's a town. And you can befriend the villagers, kind of. I think that aspect of this game is very weak. Um, but it exists. You can get married. That That is in the game. I do think it's a very weak part of the game. And the reason I'm putting Moonstone Island in B tier Despite sinking probably the most amount of time, besides Legion, obviously, 
out of all the B tier games into it, it's just because there's way too much going on with Moonstone Island in terms of its ideas and concepts, and half of them are half-assed. Which was really frustrating because the concepts they do have were amazing. And there, there's truly a lot of fun to be had in this game. But it's just, maybe my expectations are too high. Every time I play it, it's just like, I wish it ha was a little different. Like, I wish it was a little different. Um, but otherwise, it's pretty good. But I just, I hate that feeling of, like, being in the game and wanting more. And being like, there's something a little bit wrong going on here. Alright, next game is Risk of Rain Returns. I don't know where I want to put this. Guys, I don't love it. It's not for me. This is another one of those roguelikes. Mmm... I feel like it's probably in B tier until I play it more. I feel like if I play it more, I might like it a lot. Risk of Rain is, it's a roguelike. It's a roguelike. That's my opinion. Go around, collect items, progress to the next area, try to beat it. Do it again. The end. I don't know why Risk of Rain Returns just doesn't feel special at all to me. Probably because I've played Risk of Rain 2 and I know the characters a little. At least some of them. Um, but it was just like, meh. I was just like, meh, I've been here before, I've done this before seen it before. Risk of Rain 2. Oh, there are my eight here. Risk of Rain 2 is a game that I play every year basically since it's come out and I hate I hate it and I love it. I have a hate-love relationship with it. It's very hard because I play on the hardest difficulty and I refuse to play on any other difficulty and it makes me mad. Um, but it's so fucking fun. It's so fun. I feel like I have way more fun playing Risk of Rain 2 than Risk of Rain Returns. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know if that's a bad opinion or not. But I love it. I think I, I really like that it's not like a 2D side scroller. I very much like that it's 3D. <sighs> don't do this to me. You remember my name. It's on your screen somewhere. Don't do this. You said you would remember. <laughs> Muddy. Muddy. Full name? No, no, no. Full, well, okay. Mudkip, yeah, that's close. That's close enough, honestly. I'll take it. Mud, but realistically, Muddy. Full name. Muddy Fetus. Alright, get in there. <laughs> Alright, next game, Roots of Pacha. I'm giving it... Okay. I'm giving it high C tier. This game didn't come out with enough content. It released and was like, we're not an early access game, but actually, yes. It is. It is. Okay, do you want it in D? Or do you want it higher? That's my question, because there's no way you want it higher than C. There's just no way. I've been playing for a long time as well. And it's a terrible game. Forever and always. But the rules of this game is my tier list is just I'm rating every game I played this year basically no matter what. Including the games I play every single year, as long as I played it. Um, okay. Where were we? Root Pacha. Yeah. This game should not have been out in full release. It was a lie. It should have released in early access. We were lied to. The end. It was fun, but not finished and not enough content. 
Valorant. I'm giving you Valorant. Guys, I'm giving Valorant A. Why? Because this is the best I've ever done in Valorant ever in my entire life. I got to Diamond. No, no. I got to Diamond in Val- Okay, guys. League is really bad this year. Ugh, you're confusing me. I- Okay. Whew. We chose this for a reason. We chose it for a reason. We gotta stick to our guts. We decided we liked the end of this year's season of League. And that's why it's not D, because it wasn't all downhill. Okay, Valorant A. Best we've ever done. Highest we've ever climbed. We've got multiple aces this season. Uh, no, 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 don't say that. Community, terrible. E-daters, terrible. Pick me girls, many, terrible. But it's the friends we made along the way. <laughs> I met a lot of super fun, awesome people on Val. It's the best I've ever done. It proved to me that despite I'm a woman gamer, I can be good at shooting guns. That's what it proved to me, okay? I'm not a bronze Val player, I'm diamond. I reached diamond. I went from being silver to diamond in a year. Like, that's fucking crazy. That's crazy. The improvement was like, Whoa, this was a good season for me. I will probably never have a good season of Valorant ever again. All future years will probably be D tier, okay? But because of the improvement I have seen, because of the improvement I've seen, okay, I have to rank it high because I'm kind of like blown away that I was able to like get kind of good at the game don't say carried don't say that don't say that i've get, i've been getting aces guys aces multiple plural i play a duelist now i know what's up okay team of fight tactics i'm going to be rating the uh I don't know where to put this. I'm having so much fun with the new set, but it's multiple sets a year. And it's like the set before this set, garbage, terrible, didn't play it. This new set, so fun. So fun. I'm loving it. But it also is very frustrating. I'm gonna put it in. This is kind of hard. I feel like I have to rearrange this a little bit. TFT mobile, da da danga. Okay, I feel like something like this. Oh. Um. Maybe, maybe like this. We'll put this at the top. Okay, this makes sense to me. I'm putting TFT and B tier because it toys with my emotions. Uh, and then finally, we have the Outlast Trials. I put way more time into this game than I normally would for a game like this. And I genuinely don't like it, but I play it anyway because it's fun to play with my friends. Um, I think I just don't love horror games. This is Outlast Trials. It's the newest one to come out. It's not like a story game. It's a bunch of one-off levels that you play with three other people. Um... <laughs> yeah, I've never played the actual games. This is like their their multiplayer horror experience. That's what it feels like. Multiplayer horror experience. Cause it's not there's like not a story. There's kind of a story, but it's like the story is MK Ultra. Let them, eh. Eh, meh. 
I don't think it's very creative. I don't think it's very inventive. But it's but if it's the friends we made along the way, then it's a B. If it's friends we made along the way, it's a B. We'll leave it at that. I bought the second one and then got too many noise complaints, so I had to stop. I've heard the actual games are really, really scary. If it's friends. <laughs> True. Legion's TD goes up. <laughs> Fluffy said that he will not be friends with us if it's above a B tier. Fluffy says he hates Legion. And it's gotta be a B. I'll, I think I'll move it to like the top of. Eh, okay. Eh, I like Legion more than TFT. So I'll move it right above TFT. I feel like this is it. Some of these are. I feel weird about because some of these are good games that I personally just didn't like. Like, Risk of Rain Returns is a good game that I personally just didn't like. Returnals is genuinely probably an S tier game, but I just didn't love it. You took up internet storage for this. Yep. Now you're gonna download it. You're gonna download it and post it somewhere. Oh God, don't look at my files. Ahem. Shut up guys. This is a good tier list. 